you are watching this video, it means that you have an Aquar Hub bought from China. You're stuck with Chinese servers and you're wondering how to use European servers. Let's start by removing the three pegs underneath, you will find three screws. And by using the U 2.6 bit, remove the screws and open the case. You can unplug the speaker. It's going to be more easy for you to access the device. We're going to find the serial interface. Usually those are four pins somewhere on the board. You're going to use multimeter and uh, first you're going to find a ground. To find the data pins, you will have to pour on the device. Use a rubber band to hold the board down in place. Then I use my oscilloscope to find the transmission pins. As you can see, my oscilloscope is picking up data. Next, I soldiered some header pins to make life easier for me. You can leave them in place, they will not interfere in any way when you're putting the device back together. I am using cheap serial to USB adapter I bought from AliExpress. For the software I'm using Putty SSH client, which has also a serial connection. Make sure to set the speed to 115 200 bits per second. Then click open. You will have a black screen. After that, pour on the device. If you say this, then you already missed the moment where you can interrupt the booting process. Let's try this one more time. This time, let's press space bar. And you have stopped the booting process. Now you can change the boot command. Let's add a new custom init command to drop us into a console. Let's change the root password. For that, you will need to mount the root file system to write mode. After that, cycle the power and log in with your password. You will need to change some configuration files. You will find that information on my blog. Now open your app on your phone, change a country to one of European countries and try to connect this device. I hope that this helps. See you next time.